Hi, I'm Morgan Freeman, and I'm here to read the hit book T.G. High Chapter 1 by Ancient Blade, Tint Cow, and Hyojire. Chapter 1, A Hero Awakens. Gee, it sure is boring around here, said Ancient Blade. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for, responded Tit. I just wonder what Mario Foley's up to. In a dark, cruel office sat the evil Mario Foley. He picked a pencil off the desk and began to fiddle with it, cruelly. Do you know why I called you into my office, Mr. Hyojire? Is this about me throwing Belaz down four flights of stairs? Mario slammed his fist on the desk, knocking the pencil holder off. Evilly. Yes, this is about you throwing Balaz down four flights of stairs. You'll nearly kill him. He's fine, <gasps> old man. He landed on some fat kid and only broke his ankle. Old man! Shouted Mario shrilly. You listen to me. I am Mr. Foley to you. Not Mario, not old man. Mr. Foley. Fuck you spat Hyojire. You can't tell me what to call you. Mario's hands shook and slowly began to turn red. A faint crackling could be heard as Mario's hand set on fire. Hyojire got up from the desk and pushed away the chair, but it was too late. It's no use! Mario's hands moved and the door slammed with him even t the chair. <laughs> How? How? With without him even touching it. You listen to me, Mr. Hyojire. You and your little gang have been a pain in my side for the last year. But if you tell anyone about what just happened, I will wipe out your entire gang and pin it on you. You are suspended for two weeks. Hyojire's face was pale white as he slowly moved back. He pulled open the door and ran out of it. His fellow students stared at him, but he just kept running. Agent was walking to school with Tit when he saw Hyojire sprinting away. He looked at Tit, who shrugged his shoulders. Tit was wearing a sweater with Garfield all over it, while Agent wore a black shirt with the TGN logo on it. As they walked into TG High, they noticed something strange. The normal atmosphere of rowdiness had, in talking had been replaced by a quiet, orderly hallway, with even whispers being scarce. Several teachers stood, glaring at the students. Mr. Cheese Addict. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that the first time. <laughs> Mr. Cheese Addict, barely taller than the middle schoolers who came in to visit. <laughs> Mr. Blazing stood at his doorway. An agent noticed that he wore a tank top labeled Femboy Hooters. Agent began to stare at him, but he bumped into the person in front of him. S Sorry, said Agent to a sweaty guy in the tank top. Hey, man, uh, don't f f fuck with me or I'll kick your ass. Sorry, who are you? I'm alone as fire, but it's all bubbled to me again. Ancient stared at him, and then walked around him. Loomis's face turned red, and the Naruto ran away. What a weirdo, said Tit. Ancient and Tit continued walking down the hall until they had reached Mario Foley's class. They sat down at their seats. To the left of them was So Kang. She was crying while drinking milk tea. To the right of them was Loomis Fire again. He was sleeping on the desk. The classroom was pretty loud, and the walls were adorned with <laughs> shitty posters. Agent sighed. Time for another boring day where nothing interesting happens. The door slammed open. Mario Foley's face was crimson, and his eyebrows were furrowed. SILENCE! The class went quiet. Everyone stopped goofing around. Even the lights themselves seemed to be quieter. <laughs> Mario fully stared at the class. Everyone, today we will have no talking. If any of you act up in this class today, I won't hesitate to give you detention for the rest of the year. 
everyone gasped sexily. Margot fully began to teach. Ancient looked confused. He looked over and whispered to Tit, I thought we were learning Spanish today. You will only speak when spoken to! Ancient slowly turned his head toward the blackboard, Mr. Foley standing over him. Sorry, Mr. Foley, Agent spoke quietly, looking down into his desk. You look at me when I'm speaking to you, or else! Mr. Foley held his finger at Agent. It felt like it was pointing straight through him. Agent looked up at Mr. Foley, his mouth clamped shut. That's better. Now pay attention or both you and your little friend get detention for two weeks. Agent muttered something. DETENTION! Mario Foley sat at the front of the classroom, staring at Tid and Agent, along with some other people. He didn't even blink, just watched them intently, like a lizard. Like Agent wondered if he was related to Bill Gates. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it had been almost a half an hour of detention, and Agent could have died of boredom. The Garfield clock on the wall moved so slowly. <laughs> it was a <laughs> fun day after all. <laughs> <laughs> it was Monday after all, though. <laughs> he laid his head down <laughs> and went to sleep. When he woke up, the school was dark and empty. The clock read 7 o'clock, and Ancient groaned. He was late to play Ascendancy on the hit server. As he walked down the hallway to his locker, he noticed a flickering light from Mr. Foley's office. There was a faint murmuring from his office, and Ancient walked in to investigate. Agent pressed up against the glass, but the light was coming from Mario Foley's closet. Agent slowly opened the door, walked towards the closet, and slipped on a banana peel. Fuck! shouted Agent as he fell down. Agent heard loud footsteps running in the hall, much like the smash hit video game Among Us. Agent moved backwards and opened the closet. He had barely enough time to climb in the closet before the door opened. Agent held himself as still as he could. A swift shape moved across the room, looking around. The shadow began to move out of the room, An Agent breathed out in relief. The shadow moved towards the door, and Agent could see a pair of eyes looking at him. To be continued.